How to make money online is in fast from home. In this video I will give you a roadmap. You will learn how to get started fast and to build a sustainable business helping people. So you will learn what works right now and how you can build a sustainable business by being genuinely helpful. If you are a creative or skilled person, it has never been easier to make money from home helping other people. If you can provide provide something that really helps people in one way or another, then it is easy to make money online. The best way if you want to start earning money online today is to start selling digital products. The best way in my opinion, why I think that's the best way to do, it's because that's what I am doing, so that's what I know something about. So you can watch other videos about other ways of making money online. But it's easy if you are a creative person, if you for example are a skilled photographer or a skilled graphic designer or a skilled copywriter, then it is easy to create products you can start selling in your own store or on Etsy or Shopify or on another platform and you can start making money already today and you can build an audience really fast now if you are on Instagram or YouTube or TikTok by posting reels. So in this video I'm going to give you a roadmap so that you can start making money today fast and easy. And the easy part, easy is when you are doing something you are skilled at. So start with something you think is fun and something you are really skilled at. So if you are skilled at graphic design for example you can start creating graphic designs, you can start creating website templates or social media templates. Let's take that as an example. So if you are creating templates, you can open a store today. You can easily open a store by starting on a WordPress site and installing WooCommerce. Or if you want to get started even faster, you can just make a website on Canva and you can link your products to a free checkout on ConvertKit. I will post a link below to an instruction on how to do that. Another alternative is that you can start selling your products on Etsy today. But regardless if you choose to sell on a WordPress site, on a Canva site or Etsy on another site, the most difficult part when starting out is to get customers. So you need an audience, you need to promote your products. It's expensive to pay for ads but you can do that even as a small player. If you believe in your product, if you have a good product and if you have a good sales page and good ad copy then you can start advertising right away and you can become one of the big players right away. The reason why most people start by posting organically on social media is that they can test different strategies and it's a waste of money to pay for ads when you haven't got the product and the copywriting dialed in yet. But if you want to start promoting your products organically on social media today, it has never been easier. I suggest that you make reels and short videos and that you post them on YouTube and Instagram, TikTok and Facebook. And simultaneously I want you to post carousel posts and ordinary posts and you can build an audience fast. So it's important that you decide who your ideal customer is and that you start promoting your product organically or paid to your ideal audience. You can also start a Facebook group for your ideal audience and start promoting there. If there is a lot of activity in your Facebook group, Facebook will automatically promote your group to more Facebook users. How to create and sell digital products. First, you must decide on what products to sell. I give you some suggestions in this video and in the comments as well. And another idea is that you go to Canva and on the first page in Canva you can see what's popular on Canva. Even though you don't intend to sell your products on the Canva platform, you can get an idea of what's popular here. So check what's popular, what they are promoting on their first page 
here you can say that presentations are really popular, social media templates are popular, videos are popular. Another alternative is you can go to Etsy and even though you don't intend to sell your products on Etsy, you can see what's popular on Etsy. Search for digital downloads or digital products and you can get ideas on what to sell. Another alternative is you can go to my site store.cecilializ.com. This is a store where I am selling digital products. So even though you don't intend to buy anything from me, you can get an idea on how to sell your products here. This is a WordPress site and I have installed WooCommerce. So I only pay for the domain. WooCommerce is free. And here I'm selling a lot of different digital products. If you want to get started really, really fast, you can take a look at this product. Start selling digital products today. If you buy this course, I will help you getting started. So this is a three step mini course. You will get a sales page you can edit and you will get a white labeled product to sell so that you easily can get started today. And you will get hundreds of social media templates to promote your product. Let's take a brief look at this course here, even though you're not buying it, this will give you ideas on how to start. This three step mini course will help you set up everything you need to start selling digital products today. If you haven't got a product to sell, you will get a beautiful workbook template from me, which you easily can edit and start selling as your own product. So you don't need to buy this course from me. You can just look at this video and you will get an idea on how to get started today. In this course, you will get a white labeled product, a workbook template you can start selling. Just edit it and add your own logo. This workbook template can be edited in Canva. You are free to edit this workbook template and sell it as your own product. So you just edit this template and then you can sell it as your own product. And then of course you will add more products to your store. And if you buy this product, you will get a beautiful sales page template from me. It looks like this. So you are just going to change the text here and add your own links and you can easily get started. And step three in my little course here is you are going to get a free ConvertKit account. And why? It's because on ConvertKit, you can set up a checkout for free. And of course you can do this without buying my course. Set up a checkout in ConvertKit and you can get started selling digital products today. But if you intend to sell a lot of digital products, I advise you to sooner or later get a WordPress site and install WooCommerce. This is my WordPress site, inventicity.com content, and here I have a membership and you can see how beautiful it looks. Here on WordPress, you can install WooCommerce and WooCommerce is free and you can also display your products like this. And here I have hundreds and hundreds of products. And it is really easy to add new products and it looks really great. So if you intend to make a living selling digital products, get the WordPress site and install WooCommerce. It's much better than selling on Etsy or another platform. Because if you have your own site, you have full control. I will show you how I am selling my digital products on my site inventicity.com. So on this site I have a store where I'm selling digital products and I also have a membership. And I have to pay for hosting for this website, but that is the only thing I am paying for. 
the membership plugin is free and WooCommerce, which I use for my checkout, is also free. But I will also, in this video, show you how you can sell your digital products online without even paying for a website. Let's do that first. So here we have my store. Let's scroll down. Here I have some reviews and here I have a link to my membership. If we click on um, the link to my membership here, I will show you how you can sell digital products without even paying for a website. So let's click here and we will be sent to ConvertKit. So here I am now hosting my memberships and it's because WooCommerce is free when people are buying individual products. But if I would like to sell my memberships on my website, then I would have to pay for a quite expensive plugin. I think it's about $200 a year. So I'm using ConvertKit and ConvertKit is free to use as a checkout. Let's go back to my site here. So now I will show you the store. This is what the store looks like and it is built on WooCommerce, which is a free plugin. And um, for the membership, I am using um, a plugin, a free plugin called Ultimate Member. And um, I will show you what it looks like for the members. So let's go to a product here. These are photos I have taken myself. So I'm a photographer as well. And now you can see that if someone wants to, they can buy the product here or they can become members and get everything in the store. So let's click here on become a member. So here the members can log in and let's go back. So now I'll show you what it looks like for the members. So if you are a member, you can click here to download the product. So that's how easy it is to create a store and a membership for your products. And um, I'll post links below so that you can get the plugins I am using if you want them. Sales page copywriting that converts. How to create and sell Canva websites. How to make money online with Canva. Yeah, I will talk about how you easily can make money with Canva and how you can start today. I will explain how you can get started right away in three easy steps. The first step is research. I highly suggest that you first start with some market research. You can, for example, ask your target audience. If you already have a target audience, you can ask them what kind of websites they need. So, for example, if you have your target audience in a Facebook group, you can ask them there like this. Another great idea is that you go to some of the marketplaces. For example, you can go to Etsy. On Etsy, you can just search for website template and then you can scroll down and you can check what kind of websites are popular. So you can look at the reviews and how many sales they have gotten here and you can get a great grasp of the demand for different kinds of websites. And here you can see what kind of designs are popular. And you can also see how you can present your design when you are going to sell it. I don't advise you to sell your websites on Etsy. It's better that you have your own store in the long run for 
many different reasons and I have made videos about this. So at the end of this video I will also show you how you easily can sell your websites for free in your own store. Once you have decided on what kind of websites to create, you can just go to a free Canva account and here you just click on create a design and you choose website and you must open a blank canvas. You must start on a blank canvas to be allowed to sell the template you have created. So start on a blank canvas and then you can start creating. So you just add the elements and you can use photos from Canvas free library or from Pexels or Pixabay or your own photos of course. And then you just add elements and links. And once you have designed your website you click on share, you click on more and then you click on template link. This is the link you are going to share with the customers once they have bought your products. But in your store you might want to show your customers what the template looks like before they buy it. Of course you want to do that and I'll show you how to do that too. Click here on publish website and this link you can share in your store as a preview. And I'll show you what this website looks like. This is the preview of this website and you can share a link to a preview like this in your store so that the customers can check out what it looks like before they buy it. Once you have created your template link and your preview you are going to start selling your websites and what is really fun is that you actually can start selling your website templates on Canva websites. So just create another website in Canva for yourself and there you can start selling the templates you have created. You might ask about the checkout and I have a great solution for that. You can use a free checkout on ConvertKit. They have excellent free checkout and you just link from your sales page on Canva to your checkout on ConvertKit. And if you want to have your own web I highly suggest that you get a WordPress site and a WooCommerce store. If you plan to sell a lot of website templates then I highly suggest that you get a WooCommerce website. I have tested a lot of sales pages and different kinds of copywriting. I have A-B tested a lot and I have finally found a perfect formula for writing a sales page and I have made a template from what I have learned, a template of perfect copywriting especially for service providers and info product sellers. And you can learn from just watching this video and copying what I'm saying in this video. If you want to take a really fast track you can go to my website store CeciliaElise.com and here you can get the template I'm showing you in this video. Now I'm going to give you an overview first. It's an 18 page template and it looks like this. And I'll also show you what it looks like on a mobile phone. I will put a free link to a preview below this video so that you can scroll through this sales page template. And now I'm going to go through and explain the different parts of this sales page template. So first here 
We start the first page with introducing the desired outcome. What does your customer want to achieve? And it's important that you mention how you and your company can help your customer achieve their goal. And it's also important that you include a lot of links to your checkout on your sales page. And here on this template, you can just drag and drop different images in Canva. And it's important that you state briefly here what's included. What are the most important things that are included in your product? And here on the next page, we have a fill in the blank text. I know that you, here you write how and what your customer wants to achieve and what she or he has to do to achieve his or her goal. And here you write about the problem and how the problem makes your customer feel. And then you state that you believe that it shouldn't be that way and that what your customer wants to achieve should be fun and exciting. And here we have an example of how I have written this paragraph on my page. And on the next page you show your empathy for your customer, that it shouldn't be difficult for your customer. It isn't fair that it is difficult and that is why you will help your customer to achieve his or her goals easily with the help of your awesome product. And on the next page you write that with the products from your business your customer will easily achieve his or her desired outcome. And you also ask them to imagine how they will feel when they easily can achieve their desired outcome with the help of your product. And on the next page you describe in detail what the customer will get when they buy your product. And here, be as detailed as possible. Describe everything that's included in your product and also the bonuses. Describe the bonuses in detail as well. And also why this product is perfect for your customer. And on this page, you briefly again state how your product or products will help your customer achieve his or her goals. And here you ask them to get your product before the price goes up. And it's also good to have a lot of images of yourself on the sales page and also contact information. And here you describe what the customer will learn or gain from buying your product. And on this page you can insert a quote of your choice, a quote from yourself or from a famous philosopher or from anyone. And yeah, let's start today. Today is a word which I have found is really, really useful in copywriting. And here you explain again how your products are solutions to their problems. Let's start reaching your goals now. And here you explain further how your products are solutions to their problems. Enjoy the journey to your success. We all want to go on interesting and great journeys and achieve our goals, don't we? And here you can write your unique selling prepositions. And here we have another page and here you can write about courses. If you have courses or if you have other products, you can write more about them and link to them here. And this is the last page in this 18 page sales page template. And it's important that you include a lot of links to your checkout and a lot of buttons people can click on to get to your checkout. So that's how you can write sales page copy that really converts. And you can just look at the preview link below this video and copy what I have written here. 
or if you want to make it really easy for you, you can head over to my website storcecilialis.com and you can buy this template for only $7. Now again it's possible to get an incredible reach by posting organically on Facebook. I will show you how you easily can grow your business and get a lot of customers just by using one or several Facebook groups. But I see a lot of people trying to promote on Facebook the wrong way so I thought it was a good idea to make a video about the strategies I use to get a lot of customers for free without paying for ads and I am using Facebook groups and I'm now going to tell you how to use Facebook groups to get customers fast. So first of all you must of course join the right Facebook groups, the Facebook groups where your potential customers are. And you can just use the search bar in Facebook to find the groups that are right for you. In my experience it is best to promote in closed Facebook groups. And once you have joined a few Facebook groups with your target audience in them, Facebook will start to automatically promote similar groups to you. And you can just join these groups and test where your posts are performing well. What people want you to post is engaging posts, posts that people will interact with. It can be questions or it can be something where you give people an opportunity to talk about themselves. That's what group owners like because if there is a lot of activity in their groups, Facebook will promote their group automatically to other Facebook users. And now when you have joined some Facebook groups and found your target audience, you must post the right way. You cannot just post promotional posts and I strongly advise you to avoid posting links. Especially don't post links in the actual post because you will get terrible reach. What you can do and what I advise is that you post a post with a question and then you can answer the question in the comments and there you can post a link as well. And what links do I suggest that you post? Well, it's great if you have a lead magnet. A lead magnet is something you give away in exchange for the potential customer's email address. A lead magnet can be a video, a webinar, it can be graphics, it can be Canva templates, it can be power. PowerPoint templates, anything that help your customers solve their problems because when you solve a little problem for them they will see that you actually can help them and they will become interested in buying your product so that you can help them solve more problems. So when you have created a lead magnet you must create a landing page where your potential customers can give their email address away in exchange for your lead magnet and your little help for free. This lead magnet can be hosted on your own platform or you can host it on a Canva website or you can host it on some of all the email marketing providers. For example MailerLite or MailChimp or ConvertKit. And now we have reached the most important part of this video. How to use a strategy to get customers in a Facebook group. And I will explain the successful strategy I have been using. So here I will show you exactly in detail how I promote my products in Facebook groups. Here we have a Facebook group and I can write something like this. I have just created some new sales page templates. Drop an emoji to get them before I make them paid. And I also include an image of the freebie, an image of the lead magnet. And here it is, the sales page templates. So I post this and it's important that I don't include any links in the actual post. Soon people will start to answer. What I do now is I answer with a link, a link to my landing page. So here I can write welcome to get them here and then I include a link to my landing page here 
in a comment. And when they click on this link, they will arrive on my landing page. And here they can post their email address in exchange for the lead magnet. Once they have given the email address, they will be sent to my resource library where they can download the templates. But here I'm also advertising my paid products. And I can also send follow up emails about my paid products. My strategy is to post in my own Facebook groups and to post in other people's Facebook groups as well. But to understand what other Facebook group owners like and love about your posting in their groups, it's really great to have your own Facebook groups because you will understand what people want you to post in their Facebook groups. And it's of course also really useful for you to have your own Facebook group or groups when you're promoting your products or services because in your own Facebook group you can build authority and you can nurture your audience so that they eventually will buy your more expensive products. But it's also really important that you post videos, especially short videos right now on YouTube Shorts, on Instagram Reels, on TikTok and even on Facebook. Because these short Reels, they can go viral and they can give you a large audience fast. And you can send this audience to your products, to your store and to your Facebook group. That's how easy it is to promote your products and your business in Facebook. Groups. It is fun and rewarding to start your own virtual assistant business from home because you can focus on what you are most skilled at and what you think is most fun. How to start your virtual assistant service today and get a lot of customers fast. When you start a virtual assistant service, first you must consider what you prefer to do you can for example offer services as content writing content management search engine optimization social media marketing social media management blog post writing graphic design website design copywriting video editing and there are many more alternatives so find out what you are skilled at and even more important what you will find interesting and rewarding to do. When you name your business you can either use your name. For example I have two websites. I have CecilialEast.com and Inventicity.com and they are also my business names. Cecilia Elise, that's my name. And Inventicity is a business name I invented myself. I combined a couple of words, inventiveness yes. and felicity, and made a completely new and unique name for my business. How to get clients? A great way to get clients fast is to join Facebook groups. There are thousands and thousands of Facebook groups for entrepreneurs and business owners. Join these groups and start posting and show that you are skilled in the area where you are offering your services. And soon you will be able to make contacts and start offering your services to the participants in that group. If you want to, you can join my groups. I have a group for virtual assistant jobs. And I have also a group for entrepreneurs and small business owners and a group for female entrepreneurs. I will post links to those groups below so that you can join them. First of all, you must, of course, join the right Facebook groups, the Facebook groups where your potential clients are. And you can just use the search bar in Facebook to find the groups that are right for you. In my experience, it is best to promote in closed Facebook groups. And once you have joined a few Facebook groups and found your target audience, you must post the right way. You cannot just post promotional posts. And I strongly advise you to avoid posting links. Especially don't post links in the actual post because you will get terrible reach. What you can do and what I advise is that you post a post with a question and then 
you can answer the question in the comments and there you can post a link as well. And what links do I suggest that you post? Well, it's great if you have a lead magnet. A lead magnet is something you give away in exchange for the potential client's email address. A lead magnet can be a video, a webinar, it can be graphics, it can be Canva templates, it can be PowerPoint templates, anything that helps your clients solve their problems. Because when you solve a little problem for them, they will see that you actually can help them and they will become interested in paying for your services so that you can help them solve more problems.